Our results start to stutter later in the season and we drop points in two of our last three matches. We just can't seem to find the back of the net. Can we find consistency as a team and make a real push for the playoffs? <laughs> Hey, welcome back. It's Respect the Jeff here with episode 31 in this whole city career. If you've been enjoying this content, please subscribe to the channel and I will continue to roll out new videos. It's a little break in the league now. FA Cup game time, Southampton up next. And a chance to make a good run here and maybe win our first piece of silverware. That is the overarching goal for this career. Uh, still probably a long shot, but like I said in the last episode, we do have a better team this season than we did last and we still did pretty well. Uh, so we'll have Dicko make the bench here. Aside from that, we're going to put out our strongest team because I want to progress. And let's get to the game. Southampton versus Hull City. The FA Cup is back in action. Well, we've definitely been struggling for consistency, but that does not matter in the Cup. Every game counts, and it's time to make sure we move ahead to the next round. Well, we've shown that we're capable of taking down Premier League sides before, so the team should be up for it. Batty doing well to pick that ball up. Elder gets the ball forwards. Bowen with a give and go there with Kubo. And he finds Okugawa out wide. Great stuff from the team. Okugawa puts a low ball in and Bowen just can't find the back of the net with that. Ball over the top looking for Redmond. Nathan Redmond on the ball now. And sending that ball forward. Adams on it. Does well to take a touch. Casada sees that out, though. And a very aggressive start. Valerie to Lerma. Ball in the box. Clever back heel. Opening up for a shot now. Well blocked by our defense. And Bowen now charging down the other end. Can we make something happen? And no. Just keeps possession and picks up a foul. Well done from the captain. Southampton asking a lot of questions. They've definitely been the better side so far, but it remains nil-nil. Oh, great footwork there, though. Casada tips that one over. Outstanding. Since that mistake a few games ago, he has been great. But the ball is won back dangerously. Seen out once again. This has been a very close call from our defense. But Allen looking over the top there. Ah, oh, can't find his man. All right, we need some changes here now. Uh, Going to change up the formation a bit. We're putting two up top. We're not finding success out wide. Southampton right back into action there. Uh, poor defending on the wing. But we still prevent the cross from getting in. Another one put inside, though. Batty seeing that one away. It's out wide now with Lopez, though. Still Lopez. Not a lot of options up here. Bowen pushed off of it. All right, substitution time now. It's Cameron Allen coming off. Higita on. Ball sent over the top. Lopez using his pace to get in behind. Oh, and he's cutting it back. Bowen in the box. Unselfish, and Higita has a go. Blocked. And time winding down now. 92nd minute, and the full-time whistle blows. Well, the game ends scoreless, and it's going to be a replay. Coming up in the next week or two, probably. Not bad from our team, but we need to do better if we want to move on. Okay, back to the championship for now, but that game was rescheduled for after this. So the last game of this episode will be a replay against Southampton. That should be an exciting one. But for now, we got Huddersfield up next. Same team as usual. I'm not going to fiddle around with the lineup. We need a win, and let's go get one. All right, here we are away at Huddersfield. Time for the team to impress and get back to winning ways. We've had a really hard time finding the score sheet recently. And Huddersfield with the ball to start. Let's get some early pressure on the ball and try to win it back. Mounier running in behind, but Burke does well to get that ball out. It's back with Casada. And does really well to get that ball out. Unbelievable pass to find Lopez. And the break still could be on now. And it is Okugawa. <laughs> Diakabi getting the return pass there. Elder struggling to cover. And a ball put into the back post. Headed down at goal. 
In the back of the net, Huddersfield go in front, one to nothing. poor defending there. We couldn't keep the cross out. It's Aaron Moy grabbing a goal. Well, it's just good play from their team, really. Nice ball to the back post. We almost dealt with it. Just a tidy finish in the end, but we need to do better, guys. We really need goals. We're struggling. I feel like we're playing pretty well, creating chances, but just not finishing at the end of these moves. We need to see better from our team. Okugawa looking to make something happen himself. And getting the better of his man as well. He puts a ball in now. And on the counter attack now, it's Huddersfield. Down at the other end, and we're struggling to cover. Kasada just gets on the end of that and rolls it back out. On the wing again, a ball put in. Huddersfield playing well. It's out for a corner though, good defending. It's Lopez getting all the way back there to cover. His work rate is never in question. Always sprinting up and down the flanks. The lad's got some feet on him, that's for sure, but a chance from the corner now. We have to defend here. Can't concede another before halftime. It's a header down. Lopez there to recover. And it's out wide now. Okugawa again looking to make something happen. A great cross to the back post. Keeper gets his hands on it. Oh, great interception there from Maroya. Bowen. Kubo spreads it out wide. Good vision. Over the top. Maybe a poor pass there. Kubo wins it back. And Bowen recovering as well. Really scrappy stuff from the team. But a chance still may be on now. Back post, and it's finished! Kubo, great stuff from the team, one to one. It took a little bit of brute force, but we did find our way through. And that is the stuff I love to see from this team. Just pure hard work and a good finish at the end. 77th minute now, and a chance! Ooh, wild shot, we got lucky. Lopez, it's Allen. Looking to open a shot up now for Allen, maybe. He's got that cannon of a foot, as we know. Great shot off the post. And it is finished up on the follow-up. Okugawa there at the right place, at the right time. Fantastic stuff from the team, and we just keep pushing on. 2-1, to one, and surely we saw the game out there. Really good stuff from Allen to get the shot on target. Huddersfield looking for a lifeline now. Ball over the top. Gonzalez, great defending to get that one out. And again by Kubo, great work from the team, and the full-time whistle blows. We see this one out, 2-1. to one. Well, we left it to late in the game again, but we come away with all three points, and that is all that matters. We march on now and turn our attention back to the cup. All right, deadline day now. We've got our deals done, I think. Uh, maybe we could pick up a little more money here. Honeyman, an offer coming in. And to be honest, he has barely played. I think he's at a handful of games maybe he's looked all right but he's just not going to break back into the starting 11 and chadwick has been sold brings us back to 1.38 million to spend uh we definitely need some more money if we want any players next season and a transfer offer has been made for Bello as well uh that could be interesting he's definitely fallen out of favor um he's young and i'd like to keep him around but dicko's Definitely ahead of him at this point as our second striker. Kubo's not going anywhere anytime soon. So we might want to turn to the youth for a second striker moving forwards. Honeyman's been sold as well. Around 2.5 million to spend. Not bad at all. Uh, offer coming in for Okugawa. Not a big club though, so we're not going to sell. And that is the end of deadline day. We really have to just turn our attention to getting results now. No more new faces coming in or out of the club. Uh, and Ballo's deal did fall through. He won't be happy about that, probably, but maybe we can move him on in the summer. Uh, he's been pretty unhappy with his playing time recently. He's a player that I like, but uh, just not doing the trick recently. All right, but a very important game next. Southampton again. It's the replay of that last match. It was pretty uneventful last time around. Ended 0-0, and we just need to do better this time around. I'm going to rotate a little bit. Wilson gets to start it right back, and let's get to it. Okay, at least we're in front of the home fans this time around. Maybe a change of scenery will help us get a result. And it's Kubo who gets this game underway. Let's start out strong. Southampton defend well, but so do we. It's just going to be a little bit of offensive edge that might make the difference here. Looking for an early ball over the top to Bowen. Good idea. Definitely playing more direct this time around. Higita up top. Bowen with a chance from outside the box. 
Off the post and out, that is a great start from the team, exactly what we need. And the captain looking to make a contribution here and make the difference. Southampton also pressing for a goal here. That's a poor challenge. Ball still outside the box. So we're looking to close down. Dangerous shot. Casada just sees that one out for a corner. And Gonzalez, I think, is going to get a yellow. Ah. Valerie with a give and go. Ball put into the box. No one there on it, but it's McQueen to cover. Higita sprinting out there to close down the angles. Good defending from the team. Oh, Kubo doing really well to lay that one off. Higita with a chance. Great pass through. It's Lopez now. Chance for the team. Ball into the box. Bowen off the post again. What are the odds? Southampton with a clever ball through over the top here and a dangerous cross into the box. Oh, well, I genuinely think we've been the better team so far, but Southampton find themselves in front. Well, it's a solid counter-attacking goal from them. Maybe poor from our keeper. Near post. McQueen again looking to get it through. Wilson covering, but he does get the second cross off. And Casada punches away. Stewart for Bowen. Bowen cutting back and a wild shot over the top. But a good idea. Oh, good defending from Lopez. Again, his work rate just outstanding. Oh, and maybe a chance on now. Lopez up top. Kubo. He's got options in front of him. Surely he has to pick this one out. Oh, Kugawa finishes one-to-one. -one. Great stuff from the team end-to-end -end there. Lopez winning the ball back on the right-hand side, and the ball finds its way all the way to the left there. Oh, Kugawa coming in from the wing to score that one. Great pass and a great finish. 71st minute now. Can one of these teams break the deadlock? Kubo running onto it. Oh, he's got options now, Kubo. Oh, Kugawa looking to go again, but it's Bowen who cleans it up in the end. And we go in front now, 2-1. to one. Great stuff from the captain. The team is looking so sharp. And I think it's about time we started to convert these chances. This is exactly what I'm looking for out of the team. We're playing direct and creating a lot of opportunities. Definitely a huge improvement over the first game this episode, and the team looks to be back in form. We just got to see this one out now. It's only 2-1. to one. Could easily blow the lead. The defense needs to make sure we've got this on lock. Not a whole lot of time left in the game. Southampton looking to find their way through. Sims over the top. That is a great ball, but he's just off sides. Just keeping a hold of possession now. Just managing the game. Pinas spins his man and the full-time whistle blows. Two to one. A lot closer than I would have liked, but we do come away with the win anyways. And like I said, that's all that matters in the cup. We progress on. And we still have our hopes alive of winning some silverware this season, even if it is definitely a long shot. All right, guys, back in the league again, back and forth recently, but we still sit in fifth place. Four points above Stoke City this time around. Leads have fallen off a little bit. And hey, if you've been enjoying this content, please subscribe and I'll be back soon with an update. But until then, I'm Respect the Jeff, and I'll see you next time.